Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a reveal video and this is the reveal of the hopefully last Chanel bag um, in my collection for a while. This is a bag that kind of completes my Chanel classic flap collection and I have been looking for it for quite a while in this color combination or material combination and um, it was hard to find but I finally located it and uh, was able to make the purchase pre-love. This is a vintage bag and those of you who follow me on Instagram you've already seen it and you know what it is but uh, for everyone else I thought I would show you what I got and I'm also going to do a quick comparison because I did get a lot of questions on Instagram about um, you know don't you already have a bag like that um, and you know you do a comparison of the different sizes of your bags because it is hard to tell in pictures that this bag even though it is so similar to my other bags it's also very different in terms of size what it can hold how I'm going to use it functionality things like that so without any further ado the bag um, that I'm talking about is right here it is my new to me vintage Chanel classic flap jumbo and this is in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware and as you can see, she's got a few dings and scratches. Um, I used some leather conditioner from Coach that I'm really loving to kind of clean her and condition the leather. But um, there are some, you know, she's she's not very new. She's from the 90s, and so she has a few little minor imperfections, but I can look past those because I think she's absolutely beautiful. And for um, considering her age and whatnot. I'm, I feel like it's even better that I'm not going to be afraid to use this bag because I do intend to use this bag as primarily a work bag or an everyday bag and I think it's absolutely stunning. And what I love about the vintage um, jumbo and why I was holding out for one, first of all, it's not as deep as the newer jumbos so it lays really nice on the body and it's, that's especially important for me because I am quite petite but I have kind of bigger hips and I don't like things that kind of jet out off my body and I didn't like the way the jumbo classic flap the new style looked on me so I really wanted this style and then I had also seen Becky um, Becky Lou here um, I think she's Becky Lou on Instagram hi Becky um, who had done a review of her classic um, Chanel also vintage jumbo with the gold hardware and was completely smitten and then I met her when I was in New York and um, was able to try on her bag and it was just the perfect size. It holds a ton. So just for quick comparison, I'm going to show you a few of my other Chanel bags and how they compare size wise. But first, let me just show you what the bag looks like inside. So the chains were in great condition, as you can see. Um, that's the one thing about Chanel. The quality of Chanel vintage bags is just amazing and these are really really heavy duty I'm like absolutely in love with the chain on this bag and the length of the chain I will do some modeling shots showing you what this bag looks like and I'll compare it to some of my other Chanel bags so you can see how I wear each of them so when you open it up this is the inside and I have it stuffed right now so let me just remove the stuffing and I can show you what it looks like inside so um, it's in great condition. The bag is actually made in France. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. And um, it's got this really nice uh, zipper pocket in the back that has the Chanel, um, if I can pick that up, the little Chanel detail on there, the CC detail. And there's also a back flat pocket, um, the beautiful burgundy interior lining, and um, again, in really great shape. And yeah, I just was amazed by the condition considering the age of this bag. It's absolutely stunning. And for the few little dings and dents, I think that just comes from storing it with the chain, rubbing up against the leather. It's something that just happens with lambskin, but I still love and adore the look of aged lambskin and um, I don't let those things bother me. So that's my new to me Chanel Classic Jumbo Flap. And what I thought I'd do is quickly show you a comparison of how this looks against some of my other Chanel bags. So here is my um, also pre-loved but not vintage um, Chanel Medium Large Flap. And this is the double flap, and that is how those look next to each other. You can see there's a pretty drastic difference. And even in the chain size, there's a big difference between the kind of jumbo chain and the medium. 
And then here it is against the mini, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So yeah, these are both vintage bags, actually from the same time period. They're both five series um, Chanel bags. So they are from the 1990s and in beautiful condition. And now I'm just gonna switch the camera angle and kind of show you how these look on me. I'm dying in this jacket, by the way. I threw on this jacket so I could show you kind of um, how I like to wear Chanel with, um, yeah, just a look that I like when I wear Chanel. And so I'm a little bit roasting. Normally I would not be wearing this jacket on a Friday afternoon in my house when it's like 90 degrees outside. So <laughs> I'll show you how these look in just a minute. Okay, for a quick comparison, I'm about five foot three and this is my Chanel vintage jumbo single flap and how it looks on me. So I'm most likely always going to wear it on my shoulder. It lays really flat against the body as I mentioned. And I just love the size and shape of this bag. I love the way it feels on my shoulder. The chains are nice and sturdy, but the bag is actually quite light and um, it carries a ton. I will do a separate video showing you kind of what I carry in this bag, but I just paired it up with, like I mentioned, this Chanel inspired jacket from Zara, a little tank top and some girlfriend jeans. And that is my favorite sort of go-to Chanel look. So that's my first bag. And just for comparison's sake, to show you how I would use these bags and how I would wear them, I will probably use my jumbo most often as a work bag, but also just as an everyday bag. It's a perfect bag for almost any occasion, really. Um, but just to compare it to some of my others, here is my Chanel double flap in the medium large size. And I most often wear this bag just as a shoulder bag. And that is how it looks on me. Again, I'm five foot three for reference. And this is a great bag for going out in the evenings when I want to be a little more stylish, dressy, and um, that is why I wanted one that was in really great condition. And I love wearing this bag. You can also double up the chains and wear it, if I've done that right, yes. <laughs> and wear it as a small shoulder bag, like so or you can wear it on the crook of your arm like this. And actually, you, should, you could probably wear this one on the crook of your arm as well. I haven't even thought about doing that. I know I wouldn't wear it crossbody because it is long and I'm not a big crossbody person with larger bags. So that is a comparison of those two. And just for reference, I'll show you my mini flap. And this is the bag I carry when um, I'm going out in the evenings, but nowhere fancy, just to a pub or to the wine bar with friends, and I just want something to carry my essentials or if I'm going shopping. Um, I love that it's vintage, I don't have to worry about it, and I most often do carry this right on my shoulder, but you can also crossbody this one. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little cumbersome with this jacket, quite frankly. Um, yeah, so that is how that looks on me and it does look better when I'm not wearing a bulky jacket crossbody and really really just love this little guy I'm getting a ton of use out of it and then just for reference here is my Chanel wallet on chain also all of these are in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware and this is the one bag that I consider a crossbody bag. I use it most often crossbody and um, I love it crossbody. It's really easy to wear because it does sit a little lower and I like that if I'm traveling or if I'm going somewhere where I really want to be hands-free shopping that kind of thing this just doesn't even get in my way. I don't even realize I have it on quite frankly. It sits at a really good kind of just below my hip spot and I like that um, and I find it really easy to get in and out of and it's just a perfect bag like that. I have also worn it um, with the strap doubled, so I'll show you that. So um, yeah, just kind of crossing it over like that and wearing it as a shoulder bag. And I would do that if I wanted to use it for a more kind of formal occasion. You can also pull that strap and use it as a shorter little bag like kind of on the crook of your arm or also on your shoulder. Again, my jacket is competing with the bags right now. It's a little bit bulky and it's really hot in here. 
And then um, the last way that I would wear this is just with the chains tucked away, and I have done this quite a few times um, if I'm using it as a clutch for going out in the evenings. So that is my wallet on chain. And just to throw it in here, because I didn't want to leave it out, I brought my GST and uh, my last Chanel bag. And this is how this one looks on me. And I have been using this primarily as a work bag. Um, I s told myself I would use it as a tote for just going out shopping or doing um, running errands and things like that, but I really don't. <laughs> um, in fact, this bag is not getting used as much as I would like. I have it in the black caviar leather with the silver hardware and I may be selling it. I'm not really sure. Um, I love this bag. I think it's a beautiful bag, but as someone just said, and I can't remember who, but I had seen someone in a video talking about how some bags are beautiful, but it doesn't mean you need to own them. I think it might have been Eva from Eva in the City. Hi, Eva. Um, but I kind of feel that way about two of my bags right now. One of them is this one. It's just such a beautiful bag. And when I, when I do use it, I love it and appreciate it. It's really easy to use and to get in and out of. But I'm worried that now that I have my jumbo, this one may not get used as much. And I tend to wear this most often just on the crook of my arm, by the way, because I don't use it as much as a tote. I just use it as an everyday going to work bag. And um, it does make quite a bit of noise. It is a little bit bulky and it does have that jetting out from the body factor <laughs> um, that I'm not 100% thrilled about just in terms of how wide it is. Um, and the handles do slip and things like that, but it is just so beautiful. And every time I see it in a picture or on somebody, I just die and I don't want to get rid of it. So I'm torn. What do you, what do you all think I should do? Um, it would really be helpful to sell it because I could use the money right now for all of what I've been purchasing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure. I love it. And at the same time, I don't want it to just sit on a shelf. So some decisions to make about this guy. And then quickly, before I go, I just wanted to mention this product that I have been using on all my vintage bags. It's the Coach Leather Moisturizer. I did get some questions about this and this stuff has been great. You just rub it on with a soft cloth or a chamois and, um, kind of let it dry and then wipe it with a soft cloth. A clean soft cloth and your bags um, it really just helps to moisturize the leather and on older kind of vintage bags um, the leather just kind of soaks it in and it just becomes super soft after you use it and I've actually seen some videos of people cleaning and restoring their older vintage bags and um, they have used kind of a buffer or a um, what do they call that I'm just gonna call it a buffer <laughs> to shine it up at the end and I think I'm going to try to find one of those when I go to the grocery store next time um, or possibly a shoe store, just something to um, really restore the shine since the conditioner makes it really soft, but then it's really the oils in your hands and um, just time that brings back that luster and that shine. So that is my new to me Jumbo flap from Chanel that I am really, really excited about. And thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. And um, otherwise, I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.